Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to file and run GST on Zero. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Zero, you can start a 30-day free trial. All I gotta do is provide your full legal name, your business or working email, your phone number, and by following the on-screen instructions, you are all set. Now, filing and running GST or goods and services tax on zero can streamline your tax processes and ensure compliance with tax regulations. Because zero automates many aspects of GST filing and management, saving you time and reducing the likelihood of errors compared to manual methods. Now, Zero can automatically calculate GST on sales and purchases, making it easier to track and manage. Not only that, Zero integrates seamlessly with various accounting and business software, allowing for smoother data flow and reducing the need for manual data entry. This integration can simplify the GST filing process by pulling relevant data from different sources into one platform. Now, before we can file and run GST on Zero, the first thing we need to do is to create and file a GST return. Now, for you to be able to do that, you need to go to the accounting menu. All right. And from here, you have to click on report. All right. Now, from here, if this is your first time creating a GST return, say for a company or organization, you need to enter the organization's gst details to prepare and file gst returns in zero now all you have to do here is you need to hover and find the open the gst return or just hover down below so that you can go to the gst return if you can't find it if you're using a pc you might want to search press Control f all right search for gst now if it's not um appearing in the search section go to the uh find the report right here in the search tab and from here just type in gst all right and once you've done that what will happen is you would pull out a report something like this one now in the do now tab zero displays a list of returns that are due select the draft gst return you'd like to work on now if you want to preview a gst period that's still in progress click preview period so far because zero will display the unfinished return in a draft format the due date in zero is the actual filing date with an inland revenue or ir and before finalizing a gst return it's useful to complete the following checks number one is you need to confirm that you have finalized the last GST return. That means when saving a GST return as a final locks it in zero, it'll allow you to include the late claims in future returns. Make sure you've saved the previous period's GST return as final before you work in this period's return. And again, just check the GST return including late claims. And once you've done that, confirm transactions coded to the GST accounts are correct. All right. Now, the thing is, if you wanted to run a GST reconciliation report to check the GST account against the returns created for a selected period, or you're having problems to calculate and view any late claims in the GST, you'll need to finalize the previous returns in zero. All I have to do is hover down to the help section, right? And if you need more information, type in GST right here. Or you can simply contact the GST, the uh, Zero customer support. And from here, all you have to do is just tell them your situation about you have issues on filing and running GST on Zero on your account. And remember that by leveraging Zero for GST filing and management, you can simplify your tax processes, improve accuracy and compliance, and free up valuable time to focus on your growing business. 
And that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.